Hey everyone, this is my Elder Frost Gameth farming guide, and my goal is just to give you my tips on how to farm him quickly. I'll be going over how to farm him, how to fight him, and how to max out all of his gear. First off, let's go over things you should have before you get started. You're going to want some ice resistant armor like the Rhymeguard armor, which is the Velcana armor set. The more maxed out the armor and weapons, the more it's obviously going to help, so just keep that in mind. Elder Frost uses ice attacks and is weak to fire, so if you don't have any fire based weapons, you're going to want to craft some. I use the Dread Queen Blade, the Grimclaw Hammer, and if you feel you need extra help surviving the battle, use a horn with the skill Music. These horns have an ability that prevents the whole team from taking damage for one turn, so it's super helpful during the attack all phases of the battle. Be sure to have plenty of Vital Essence, Dust of Life, and Ancient Potions as well. How you start farming depends on what you're trying to grind out. If it's eggs you're trying to grind, then I suggest using gold tickets and waiting for a random to join your lobby. The gold tickets give you the best chance for the best genes, and allowing randoms to join your lobby gives you a chance of a high level player joining your lobby and helping you beat the den quickly. If you're just trying to farm the Elder Frost material, I recommend using a normal ticket in the missions and just spamming those missions with an AI. The reason this is better is because the den with a normal ticket is smaller in size and you can skip the extra eggs since they're just not worth grabbing. Fighting Elder Frost Gameth is actually pretty easy, but just takes a while because he's tanky as hell. He only uses power attacks, which means you're just going to be spamming speed attacks the whole fight. Just be sure not to use a monster that's weak to ice and one that can spam speed attacks. Like any other fight, just counter his attacks, break off as many pieces as you can, and wait for those attack all moves. If you're high enough level, you can actually just tank the attack all hits with maxed out gear, but if you can't tank the hits, then I just recommend using the music horn and using the skill Evasion Rift. Evasion Rift protects all allies from damage from one turn, so it's really good against those ultimate moves. And if I'm gonna actually be honest, you should probably always run Evasion Rift. It's just really good and just the safest bet. But if you're like a high level player, there's nothing wrong with a little YOLO mentality. Okay, so now let's talk about his gear. Elder Frost Gameth has all six weapon types and his armor set available, so that's seven pieces total. To complete one piece of gear, meaning upgrading it to level five, it requires 76 Elder Frost material, 10 weapon material or armor material if you're crafting the armor set, eight Gameth material, 10 Deoric material, 13 Velcana material, and one Commendation. If you're looking to grind out all seven pieces of gear and maxing them out you're looking at about 532 Elder Frost material, 60 weapon material, 10 armor uh, material, 56 Gameth material, 70 Deora material, 91 Velcana, and 7 Commendations. So it is a grind, but if you're a 100% completionist type person like I am, you're going to end up grinding all that, and it's just kind of good to have a number of what you need. So overall, it's not that hard to solo and complete all the gear and, and getting all the genes, but in my opinion, he just isn't the greatest monster and there's just better options out there. But if you're a completionist like me, then this monster is pretty easy to grind, especially compared to others. I really do hope this guide was helpful and I wish you the best of luck on the grind. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.